<laughs> Hello, my Instrument and Peeps. Uh, we're back again with another research update video for you guys. Um, I ended up going and grabbing another study from my database. And I found this one recently, and it was published in uh, January 2019. Uh, and the study is actually investigating hydrogen therapeutic effects uh, for improving uh, cancer prognosis. And uh, in particular, the, in particular um, uh, the actual cancer that they're actually investigating was colorectal cancer, and this is actually uh, with patients who are stage four. Um, and so, uh, you know, in this study, uh, you know, so we'll, um, in the study, we'll cover a few highlights. Um, first off, uh, they had these individuals, these patients, uh, I think it was 55 patients in total, uh, were breathing hydrogen inhalation uh, every day um, uh, for the duration of the study. And uh, uh, they were breathing for three hours a day. Uh, as well as receiving chemotherapy, um, uh, you know, from the hospital. And so, uh, some of the highlights that we want to, I guess I could go ahead and, and point out for you guys that I thought was important, uh, due to the study was that it mainly investigated, um, a biomarker, uh, you know, for cancer prognosis is, it, it, and, and potentially hydrogen's, uh, hydrogen's immunological effects, um, just pretty much just effects on the immune system. Uh, and so, um, one of the actual things they were looking at was uh, uh, they're actually looking at uh, T cells and uh, they're actually looking at exhausted T cells or T cells that are pre pretty much become inactive and, um, and are actually not uh, combating cancer uh, within the patient's body. These T cells have actually lost immunological activities um, due to mitochondrial dysfunction. Uh, and so uh, this also goes back to you know why they lost this and it's because of a uh, one of the master regulators for mitochondrial function is PC, PGC1 alpha. PGC1 alpha actually has become inactive. And, uh, you know, like I said, PGC1 alpha is a master regulator uh, uh, for mitochondrial biogenesis uh, and mitochondrial function. In recent publications, it's actually been shown that hydrogen um, is an activator of uh, PGC1 alpha and uh, can activate mitochondrial biogenesis. And so this is one of the actual mechanisms that they're gonna be investigating in this study uh, to see if hydrogen can actually improve um, uh, the T cell activity um, in these cancer patients, which will um, improve the prognosis uh, you know, of these cancer patients. And so um, uh, some notable things from the study was that um, it actually showed the hydrogen gas and decrease the abundance of the exhausted T cells and increase the activity of these T cells, which actually improve, um, which actually improve progress-free survival and also improve overall survival uh, timeframes for these patients. Um, and lastly, uh, you know, the conclusion of the study said collectively, the present results suggest that hydrogen gas reverse and balance towards. Um, these particular T cells to provide an improvement of prognosis. And so this is pretty big because, um, you know, we have, uh, you know, we have preliminary data on hydrogen and its potential therapeutic effects for cancer. Uh, we actually made a video, uh, we have made a video about this and just covering some of the data. Uh, and a lot of it is with animal studies, but this was actually a human study and showing that hydrogen was able to improve the prognosis you know, of these people um, facing with stage four of colorectal cancer. And so um, that's pretty powerful. And it is very exciting to see uh, the research, um, you know, being able to progress forward and actually seeing, um, you know, it translate, uh, you know, from, you know, from cell culture studies um, uh, to, anim uh, to animal studies, uh, now to human studies. And, then, you know, and we're seeing these uh, beneficial effects. So hydrogen is translating well. Uh, appears hydrogen translating well into a clinical setting. Um, and so uh, this is not the only study. There was another study that was published um, from the same authors uh, in October of you know 2018, uh, and it demonstrated the same type of effects. And so it uh, showed the hydrogen had a beneficial effect on the immune system, which in turn was able to improve the prognosis of these cancer patients. And so this is another research update video from you guys. And I'll be bringing you another one here shortly. Deuces.